In the previous video, we already finished the design of the login form. In this video, we are going to design the registration form. So start the new activity. Select an empty activity and specify the activity name as register activity. And click finish. Open the newly created layout file. Now close these unwanted files. Uh, go to the XML version. So first here I'm going to change the root element into linear layout. Now remove the margins. There is no need of these margins. Remove it. Okay, so first here I am going to specify orientation for this layout. So Android orientation, specify orientation into vertical. Now specify the background for this layout. So Android background. Select color from the color.xml file. Select the color primary. Okay. So here also we have to specify the application name. So we can copy the text view from the login layout. So go to the login layout file and copy this text view. And paste it here. Okay, this text view represents the application name. Now for the registration form, start a new relative layout. Specify the width as much parent, height as wrap content. Now specify some margin. Specify margin top. Layout margin top into 50 dp. Now specify the margin left. Layout margin left. Specify the left margin as 25 dp. Now specify margin at right side. Margin right. That is also 25 dp. Okay. Now we have to design the registration entries. So we can reuse the contents from the login layout. So here I copy this text view and edit text. So first I copy this text view and paste it here. Okay. Now change this into prompt name. Now go to strings.xml. Now add a new string resource file string resource. So I copy this one and change the identifier into prompt name and change the value into name. Okay. Now specify an edit text for the name. So specify an edit text. Specify the width as much parent, height as wrap content. Now align it below TX1. So layout below TX1. Now specify text color. And through it text color. It is text color. Now specify an ID for this edit text. So Android ID. I name it as REG name. REG name. Okay. So I copied this text view and edit text. Now we have to specify the email field. So I paste it here. So first I change the ID into TX2 and change the ID into REG email and specify the input type as TX email address, text email address. Okay, and now change this one into TX2, layout below TX2. and specify some margin at the top at the bottom so 
sorry layout below plus id uh, it is below origin name i'll in this one below origin name okay now change this one into prompt email Now specify some layout margin, margin top into 10 dp. Okay. Now we have name and email. Now we have to add the password field. So I copy this text view and edit text and put it here and change the id into tx3. and change this one into prompt password and change this one into reg email change the id into reg password Now change the id into below tx3. Now this is a password field. So change input type into text password. Okay. So now we have name, email and password. Now we need to add one more field. We have to confirm that password. So again copy this text view and edit text. Copy that one and paste it here. So we have to modify these attributes. It is tx4 and change the text prompt co and password. Go to the strings.xml and add a new string resource. So I copy this one, copy that one and paste it here. And we have to change the identifier prompt co and password. Okay, now we have to align this text view and edit text. Okay, now change the id into reg con password. Now we have to align this one. Let's go to strings.xml and we have to change something co in password we have to change the value into confirm password now align this one below password and here change this one into tx4 we have to align this one below tx4 okay so now we have name email password and confirm password now we have to specify the registration button so add a new button specify the width as match parent height is wrap content now specify text for the button and throw it text and throw it text and get it from the strings.xml file get it from strings.xml file with identifier regbn label regbn label now go to strings.xml and we have to add a new string resource so i copy this one and paste it here and change the identifier name change that one into regbn label regbn label and change the value into register register now apply some style for this button apply some style attribute style and throw it text appearance small and throw it text appearance small now specify the text color for the button and throw it text to color. A 
color text color now specify an ID for the button Android ID and specify the ID as REG button REG button now align this one below confirm password so Android layout below plus ID REG confirm password Now specify some margin at top into 25 dB. Okay, now we have to specify the selector for the button. We have to change the background color of this button. So specify the background. So now specify background for the button. So Android background. get the selector from drawable folder at a drawable button selector now specify the text style we have to make the text into bold so now specify text color text style so Android text style into bold and that's it now we finish the design of the registration form we have name email password and confirm password field so now we finish the login form and registration form now we need an additional layout we need another activity for the success page so create a new empty activity select an empty activity and specify the activity name as home activity this is the success page if the user enter correct email and password so now go to the layout file so first I remove these margins I remove all these margins specify background for this layout Android background get the background color from color.xml file color primary now we need to display the application name so I copy the text view that represents the application name and paste it here okay now we have to add another text view to display a greeting message for the user so and a new text view specify with as much pair and height is wrap content now specify some text for it get some text from the strings.xml so add string get some text okay no need Simply add some message here. Hello world. Simply add a message here. Now specify the text size 25 dp. Okay, change that one into 30 dp. That is better. Okay, now specify the gravity we have to align this one at center okay now specify now specify layout below we have to align this one below the application name so for that we have to assign some ID for this text view okay no need uh, we can simply change this one into linear layout and we can change the orientation into vertical that is better so now we need to change the orientation of this layout so add an orientation Android orientation Android orientation into vertical okay so there is no need of this statement remove this statement so now we have to specify some margin at the top side so margin top into 30 dp that is not enough change that one into 75 dp or ah, okay 75 dp okay now it is fine now change the text color we have to change the text color uh, get the text color from color.xml now specify some text style into bold now we need an ID for this text view 
now specify an ID for the text view so enter it ID name it as welcome welcome txt okay that's it so now we finish the design of login form registration form and also we design some home activity